Welcome to Books That Speak. On the occasion of 15th August, that is India's Independence Day, Books That Speak is presenting a small tribute in the form of three stories. This is the second story in this tribute. Sekar Gaud's Inspiration, Swami Vivekanand. Written by Prasun Roy, illustrated by Prasun Roy, published by Story Weaver Community. This is the real story of Sekar Gaud, the first triple amputee to climb Mount Elberis, that is in Russia, and Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak of the African subcontinent. The alumni of Vivekanand Institute of Human Excellence, he derives his strength from the teachings of Swami Vivekanand. This story is a brilliant testimony to how one can bounce back even against all odds. Narrated by Asavari Doshi Back in 2006, an 18-year-old Shekhar was pursuing a certificate course from ITI Nalgonda. On the evening of 24th December 2006, he was chatting with a friend over his mobile phone, sitting on the compound wall of his house. A few friends had come over and one of them decided to play a prank on him. He playfully pushed Shekhar, who lost his balance and fell off. To prevent his free fall, he instinctively decided to hold on to the electrical wires coming out of a transformer nearby. It was a bad decision and he got electrocuted as a result of which he received severe injuries. He became unconscious and fell on the ground. When he opened his eyes nine hours later, he found himself lying amongst all dead bodies in the mortuary of a government hospital. He somehow gathered strength to crawl out of the place and everybody ran away, imagining him to be a ghost. Meanwhile, his parents had come over and they rushed him to the another hospital where his treatment began. However, he had lost the vital hours and as a result, his left leg had to be amputated below the knee. His right hand and the toes on his right foot also had to be amputated. The entire treatment forced them to sell whatever little property they had. Post-surgery, Shekhar returned to his village, but he could not take the pressure of being bedridden for months. After a few months, Shekhar shifted to Hyderabad and started his life afresh. He trained his left hand to compensate for his lost right hand. He learnt about the Vivekanand Institute of Human Excellence in Hyderabad and started attending lectures by the monks of Ramakrishna Math. Swami Bodhamaya Nanda's lectures infused a new life in him. Shekhar gained immense strength from the teachings of Swami Vivekanand. Vivekanand's motivating mantra, Arise, awake and stop not till the goal is reached, rejuvenated him. He looked at the positive side of life and started appreciating the things he already had. In 2013, Shekhar came across an NGO, TALBFI, who helped him get his first artificial limb and gave him a Blade Runner. Then there was no looking back. In December 2016, Shekhar cycled from Ladakh to Kanyakumari over a period of 48 days without any support. He also learned to swim, play badminton and run marathon. With time, Shekhar developed a deep interest in adventure sports, particularly mountaineering. He practiced and turned out to be the first triple amputee to have climbed Mount Elbrus twice, which is the highest peak in Russia, 15,500 feet. He also climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, 19,341 feet, the highest peak in African subcontinent. Shekhar dreams to be a part of the Paralympic badminton team to represent our country. 
He is working at the Pranaram Hospital as a medical record assistant after having worked for the Lementary Hotels as a CCTV in charge. He is a perfect demonstration of Swamiji's teaching. All the powers in the universe are already ours. It is we who have closed our eyes and cry. It's a motivational and inspirational story. For more such stories, visit our channel Books That Speak on YouTube and on many podcasting channels. Our website is www.booksthatspeak.com. See you in the next story. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.